It's not often that a new zombies mode is added in, but when it is, it's usually Onslaught. And as you can see right here, it's called Onslaught Elite. If we look at the info for it, it says the Dark Aether grows even stronger. Every surge wave contains an elite enemy. The barrage of elite enemies provides a higher challenge, but also more chances at rewards. So if we make it through 20 surges here, we actually get a gun blueprint. So I decided, why don't we try to get Dark Aether during this? So I have my cane here. We got this leveled up a while back. It's been a minute since I've gotten camos on this game, but we have every single camo to get we have absolutely nothing done so we need all of our kills all of our melee kills with stuns which is going to be really difficult actually unless we get a lot of drops 750 kills while it's pack a punch also going to be kind of difficult if we don't get any chalices early 15 kills with aether shroud shouldn't be too difficult 10 special our elites also shouldn't be too difficult if we're getting one every surge 10 kills rapidly and I don't see that one being too much of a problem, but this, the 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit 10 times, gonna be pretty hard in Onslaught, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm throwing Aether Shroud on here and let's go ahead, hop in and see what it's like. All right, we're on Onslaught. It does not look like uh, we're gonna be able to sit in one spot for too long here. This is one of the Onslaughts where something's always moving around. Are we have an Elite already. I guess I did say every single round. Oh, and it's already dead. And they gave us a level, give me that. Is it only gonna be Elites? Is that it? Okay. Uh, I don't know if we'll actually be able to get Dark Aether through this if there's no zombies. Go ahead, spawn in. Destroyed your armor, and you're already dead before I could even see you. This is easy. This is simple. Is this really it, though? I really thought this was just going to be like normal onslaught, but with an elite on every round. This is just only elites. I guess we'll get that camo cranked out. An abomination now? Okay, that hurts a lot, actually. Oh, now there's zombies. Or at least one zombie, two zombies. Okay, we might actually be able to do this. This will be tough, though. Okay, there's a few zombies spawning here. So maybe we just need to get to Surge 4. Or maybe I was killing the elites too fast. Too fast for any zombies to spawn. Oh, okay, so what I could do is just leave this abomination up and try to get some kills. Ooh, get out of here. What'd you drop? Intel? Intel? I guess I'll take it. All right, so now that we know zombies actually spawn in this, I have a plan. We're gonna wait until one of these elites drops the chalice. Once they do, we're gonna leave it on whatever round, whatever surge, and then just try to, oh, farm the zombies. That Megaton scared me. He came out sprinting. This is actually gonna be tough to get the 20. If they got more Megatons and Abominations, the Manglers and Mimics I can deal with really easily. These guys are just way too strong. Until they split, then they get messed up. This map would be cool as like a fully fledged zombies map. It'd be like Shangri-La 2, the sequel. Actually, now that we do have a mangler and it's not too difficult to deal with, I'm gonna try to rack up a few kills here. Maybe enough to get my Aether Shroud. Okay, one thing I'm realizing as well, if I go out of here, I start taking damage. That's not gonna help for our Jackrabbit medals. I can't take damage of any kind. But I also don't think I'm a high enough level with this cane yet. I need one more level. So let me take you out. Give me a perk. Jug? That's helpful. Could use a chalice, though. That's the one thing I don't like about Onslaught is you can't really control when you get anything. Everything's just random. Can't buy any perks. Can't choose when I pack a punch. If you go down, you're just stuck with whatever spawns. Onslaught would be so difficult without any upgrades, too. Oh! Oh, oh why did that scare me so bad? Get out of here, Panzer. Oh, no. It's going to knock me. Eat a stun. There we go. Still no chalices? Come on, game. All right, now we're at cane level 30. I'm gonna try to knock out as many jackrabbits as I can right now. I'm just staying out of sight from this abomination. He's too slow to chase me around. Now we got our first camo, finally got stroke. Oh, plague hounds are spawning now. That's just annoying. Not like plague hounds are like hard to deal with. It's just, they're, it's so easy for them to do damage to you. With their gas sitting there, their weird lunging. They are a jackrabbit nightmare. None of these zombies are dropping decoys or stuns anymore either. Oh, I just had to complain about it and it happened. Gotta love it. No! Oh, it took so long to get near 20 for that jackrabbit and I got hit on like 17 or something. This is gonna be way more difficult than I thought. All right, I don't think the strat's working. I keep getting hit going for my jackrabbits. Like right there. I think we just need to take out this abomination. I'm gonna go th for my original strat. Maybe we get more zombies spawning in at these higher rounds. But I need a chalice like right now. Are you gonna drop me a chalice, sir? Oh wait, you need a split first. Gonna need a chalice going forward here. These guys are becoming less and less killable. Oh, finally. Only took 10 surges to get a pack-a-punch one cane. This is ridiculous. All right, now I think we can try our strat. And more plague hounds are spawning. Great. Perfect. Exactly what I want to see. Oh, 
you know what I just realized? We've killed at least 10 elites, right? Isn't the whole challenge kill 10 elites? Do the HVTs not count? Is, is all this for nothing? Is it impossible to get elite kills in Onslaught Elite? That's kind of fucked up. All right, well, I guess I'm going to get through 20 rounds of this. And then we'll see what's up. This one dropped Mule Kick. Gross. And another Bronze Chalice. I love that. Seen two chalices this full time. Both of them just bronze. What if I wanted Pack a Punch too, huh? You ever think about that? Orb. Honestly, if you're just going for the elites, it is not that difficult. You kind of just camp right near this and swing. Like, check this out. Abomination spawns in. You swing at it a little bit. Actually, Abomination might be the one that doesn't really work for camping. That thing is just too tanky. Come here, you bitch. Hit you in the ass. Yeah, you like that? There you go. Oh, finally, a silver chalice. Something that's useful. Oh, and the cane is actually called the Queen's Woman. Too soon, Cold War. Too soon. All right, if this is a Mangler or a Mimic, it's getting smoked immediately. Oh, it's a Panzer. It's still getting smoked. Don't care. I think this is like our last surge until we get the reward. It said round 20, right? Or surge 20? It's gonna be easy. There we go. I think after we beat this surge, we get the reward. We just have to make it to 21, meaning that we survive 20. Mangler, you are the worst HVT elite. You go down so easy. There we go. Completed 20 surges. No gold chalice though. That's it. Are we done here? I'm gonna say we're done here. Let me wait till it moves to see if I see my reward pop up. Nope, no reward. I got a little XP, but just smoked a mimic. Yeah, I think that's just about all this mode is. All right, I'm backing out. I defeated 22 elites. And now we're gonna go ahead and check how many elites we killed for our camo progress. Well, first of all, did I get my reward? It says I've gotten zero out of 20. Maybe I need to play online for it. I did play a private match, but that should have no effect on our camos. Yeah, we did get... 157 kills. That's about where we were at. We have no progress towards liquid. Uh, 34 kills pack a punch. We did get it pretty late. We got a few Aether Shroud kills. Oh, we actually did get all of our special elite eliminations. Okay. So it does work for that. Why do you see none of these pop up? Not a single one. Maybe I'm blind. I'm probably blind. Yeah, I actually, I do remember seeing one of the tiger camos. I'm dumb, but I don't think it's sustainable for grinding camos. So let's just hop into normal onslaught and see if uh, we can get it done there. All right. Onslaught elite was cool or whatever. We're going to go ahead and get some camos now in just normal onslaught. But we're still going to have the challenge of trying to get Pack-a-Punch, which we should get within like 10 surges, I think. And then getting those stuns, those decoys, that's going to be really difficult. All right, I have both Aether Shrouds ready. I'm just trying to get as many zombies as close together as we can. And they're hitting me. Stop doing that. I need Jackrabbits. Oh, they're all just going to pile up right here? They're making it real easy for me. Yeah, we just got all the way to Funkadelic there. And just one attempt. Let's try again. Go pile up. Good zombies. There's Boutique. We just need one more camo here. Oh, couldn't get it. Now, what if I throw this decoy down? Go to the decoy. Okay, we got a few kills there. Not as many as I was looking for. But we got them. Oh, no. This is actually so tough. With a gun, we'd be slaying right now. I'd be sitting in that corner... Spamming ring of fire. What the melee weapon's a little different. There we go. There's our maniac camo or manic. I'm gonna say manic. No! Oh, this mode is so difficult. Come here. Eat this. Take it. There we go. Let me self-revive. And we're basically screwed if we go down again. But well, we're already kind of screwed from going down once, but we're extra screwed. Fuck it. Tesla Storm. Eat my dick, zombies. Oh, Shatter Blast went off? When did I get Elemental Pop? This could actually save us. I have a better idea. Tesla Storm is cool, but we need some way to get armor. I'm switching to Frenzied. Okay. And I'm switching to Dying. This is tough. How do people get camos like this? Oh, yeah. This is going to take forever. I might just hop on D-Machine and do the rest of these. Sound like a plan? Yeah, I think it does. All right. Now that we don't have to worry about killing any elites... D-Machine might be pretty easy. Might be pretty fast to get this done. That was our first Jackrabbit medal, I think. Yup, and our first camo for it. So technically our second Jackrabbit medal, but we're finally getting them. So this is my recommendation to anyone that is uh, grinding camos on D-Machine. You're like, oh man, I don't have all my elites done. Just go play Onslaught Elite real quick. You'll be able to knock out all 10 elites and just 10 surges. And every time you kill one, a new surge starts. Actually a pretty good way to get camos fast. There we go. We're at 10 kills while zombies are distracted. And we're breezing through the Jackrabbits now. Honestly, setting up in penthouse early round is really good for them. I'm just hitting them as they spawn. As they're climbing over here, so bam. Come over here. Bam. Zombies walk down this way. Bam. All right, maybe I should turn power on. I've kind of just been dicking around. I do have a lot of money now. Open up. 
Let me in. And there we go. Power is on. Let's activate the reactor. Or the particle accelerator, whatever this thing is. There we go. Did not mean to hit that nuke, but it works. Give me a ray gun out of this crystal. Nope. What about this one? Nope. Okay, this one for sure has it. Nope. There's our bloodshed camo. We're at 500 kills. I also bought a bunch of perks. And now we got Pack-A-Punch back working. I probably should have saved some of that money I spent on those perks so I could get Pack-A-Punch. But, you know, I'm not one of them thinking dudes. But I finally have enough for Pack-A-Punch. Let's grab it. And now I can start working on those camos. And now we've got our very first Pack-A-Punch camo. We're only at 50 kills out of the 750 we need. We got a lot of work to do. There's 20 zombies that are confused. Just need 30 more. And we're all done with our jackrabbits. Let's go. Hardest part is over. All right, let's upgrade this thing. Let's get pack two. Probably upgrade our armor. Never mind, I'm broke. There we go. We're at 30 while they're distracted or stunned. I'm about to die. I did die. Zombie, come here. There we go. Oh, we're all done with our normal kills now. That was easy. Okay, we're at 40. Just 10 more. There we go. All done with those. Now I think we just need... I think it's just Pack-A-Punch kills. Oh, shit. It's done. Save me. Thank you. I should probably get armor. I've been spending all my salvage on decoys and stuns. I still can't upgrade? Are you kidding? Man. Oh, now we're at 500 kills while it's Pack-A-Punch. Just 250 more and we have the cane done. What? I'm so confused on what just happened. I'm swinging at a plague hound and he jumped right into the tank. And then I just got blasted by the rest of the zombies. Reason number 800 why I hate plague hounds. I finally saved up enough to be able to upgrade my armor. It only took till, what round is it? Banner move out of the way. 26. Sick nasty. Oh, there it is. I was just about to say, we got to be getting close to Gold Viper. We finally got it. Get me out of this game. Let's go check on the camos. All right. It took a while, but we finally got this thing, Gold Viper. Let's check out the camos on it. There's Gold Viper. Very nice. Kind of a basic looking weapon, but it's going to get basic looking camo coverage on it as well. Plague Diamond always looks snazzy. And Dark Aether looks pretty good too. Let's go ahead and hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right. This is what the cane looks like in game with Dark Aether. It's not bad. Not a bad looking weapon, but there's just so many melee weapons in this game. The fact that a cane is even in here is just kind of funny. Still not bad looking though. We'll take it. But we came into this video with two goals. One, to check out Onslaught Elite and two, to get Dark Aether on our cane. Did we do them both in the same place? Maybe not. But we still got them both done. Anyways, the Onslaught Elite mode is pretty cool. Maybe I'll try to get to Surge 100 in it or as far as I can because it seems like it's pretty easy. You just take out an Elite and the next round ends and the next one starts. So maybe I'll give that a try. But I think we only have like one or two weapons left for Dark Aether here. I think I really want to stream the last one just to celebrate us, you know, completing Cold War twice. And for the other one, uh, I'll probably do something similar to this where I, I just hop in a random mode and do it. It seems like fun. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like it and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, subscribe. You guys know the drill by now. Socials all in the description as well as my discord. But uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.